you guys should just be a little bit more creative, okay? And break your business down into bite-sized pieces. And what I'm about to talk about is kind of my, what, what I'm going to work on, I guess, within this first quarter, okay? It's already been working well for me. Actually, I kind of, if I'm being honest, I started last year, like the last quarter of last year, right? Working on this, and it's just been working great. It's been working fine for me. So if it's been working, why change it? So what I want to talk about is blending what I like, what I'm calling blending real estate with commercial and residential cleaning. Okay. Now, um, some of the easiest contracts to get, at least I feel like some of the easiest contracts to get is apartment complexes, apartment buildings, um, and just working with the property management companies. It's really simple. If like, even if you use your, have your own lead generation or, you're making your own calls. It's a really simple process to be able to call like a property management company or a real estate agency uh, company and just explain to them what you do. Let them know you have a commercial residential cleaning service. Uh, you would love to, you know, partner up with them and help them get their units ready, get their apartments ready, get their townhouse condos and all of these things, get those ready. And even commercial properties because a lot of property management companies own uh, actually, uh, businesses or, or, or buildings, commercial buildings, right? So, uh, a lot of times you guys would be able to pick up those type of contracts. And I know this for a fact because I've actually picked up contracts this way. So I'm a big fan of apartment complexes. Um, now I will tell you they, they, I did a video about insurance and so forth and so forth. They will ask you for insurance, being insured, bonded, uh, workman's comp. They will ask you about, um, auto insurance, having auto insurance. So I would put those things into place. Um, if you get a company that don't ask you for that or ask you about that, then kudos to you. But I'm just letting you know the vast majority of the companies will ask you about having auto insurance, workman's comp, uh, uh, being bonded and general liability insurance. Okay. So I'm just, I just kind of want to get that off the top right now. But it's bread and butter once you have those things. Like if you if you have those insurance, you have all of the workman's comp, all of that stuff in place, start picking up the phones and making calls to property management companies and um and uh real estate agents. Agents. Okay. Uh, like I say, because again, they have a Rolodex that's 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 deep a lot of times, right? And you get under the right uh property management company, you get you two, three property management companies. Man, I'm telling you, your revenues can shoot through the roof. I'm and I'm talking about like just basically googling property management companies in Houston, Texas, or property management companies in Little Rock, Arkansas, or whatever the case is, right? And surrounding areas. They don't necessarily have to be a city, but surrounding areas, right? Number one, they'll keep you busy. And number two, you can make a ton of money working with property man uh, property management companies and um uh, agents uh, real estate agents okay um like i say because again they always have buildings they always have homes they always have apartments and condos and townhouses different things like that to get prepared to put on the market to get prepared you know and it's a sweet deal if you guys offer more than one service like for an example if you are doing let's say an apartment an apartment needs painting you can always try your hand at that. Like if you, you know, you don't know how to paint, you can watch a few YouTube videos, right? Trying to teach yourself, self te self taught, teach yourself on how to paint techniques and different things like that. And you can do that. That's a way that you, that's another way you can drive up revenue, right? Or if you're just doing general cleaning, right? You're just basic cleaning for the apartments and they actually, if, you know, if you shampoo carpet or if you steam clean carpet or, you know, if you, if you're a carpet cleaning, uh, company, you can always just jump into those avenues if you believe in yourself. Once again, you watch some videos, you kind of learn the process, learn different type of machines and different things like that, and you can have your income go up dramatically. Okay, but if you're just basic and you don't have any vendors, you don't have any subcontractors, you don't have anybody to uh, provide these services for you, you still can make a lot of money just sprucing up the place, right? Just basic cleaning, 
in the apartment condos townhouses and like i said you can get commercial properties you can get commercial properties under uh, property management companies okay so excuse me i just wanted to put that out there guys that's my entire model that's exactly what i'm working on this in this whole first quarter right if i get new business which i will because we do we know google ads and and we do uh, uh facebook advertising and stuff for just regular residential clients so i'm sure i will get other business calling and other business coming in but a business that i'm attacking right now and i'm using real estate agents and i'm using property management companies so that's what i like to call blending the real estate with commercial and residential cleaning right because here it is you got real estate agents you got real estate property management companies right again all you have to do is call them you have to call them again you want to make sure you have your insurance because they're going to ask you about the insurance i just want to be honest they're going to ask you about being bonded insurance the work comp um auto insurance all of those things so have those things ready if you decide to go this way because they will ask about that okay in matter of fact they won't even hire you unless you have that okay a, a lot of them won't some will okay if you do you just got lucky but the vast majority the vast majority is going to ask you if you have those things so like i say guys this is a technique that you can use right here with the apartments um, you can still use the door-to-door -door method in, in terms of going to the individual apartments, but a lot of these apartments are going to redirect you to a property management company, okay, because they're property management owned. Now, if you find an Occupy owned company where it's maybe like one person or two people, maybe like a brother and sister, a husband and wife, they own this apartment building or this apartment complex, that's what we call Occupy owned, okay? That's just where it's just owned by individuals and not necessarily a property management company. Okay, that's bread and butter too. Okay, now now here's the thing though, because I got one property management company that I can think of. I got one property management company. Let me see. I might have more than one, but I know I at least got one property management company. That I mean, not property management, occupy own. I'm sorry, one occupy own. Um, uh person uh that we clean the the building right it's a it's actual a building and not necessarily a complex and the thing between the property management company and an occupy own company is you may get paid a little late with the occupy own like property management company have what i like to call reserves of cash on deck right so the check is a lot of times it's generally there but i'm just going to give you a heads up if you do find an Occupy own, uh, you know, person that just own a building or own a, a complex or whatever, and it's occupied own, meaning he own it individually, him and his wife, it's a family owned type of situation, it's non property management owned. Don't be surprised if the check is not there on time or if they're having funding issues, right? The money is not in the bank. Maybe they, renters is paying late or whatever the case is okay so i do want to kind of put you guys up on on point about that so uh again i feel like these are great methods that you can use to uh drive your revenues up again you can hit the internet hit yellow book hit yelp hit all of these platforms and different formats call them just kind of cold call them right explain to them what you are you are you uh uh, a residential cleaning company, you a commercial cleaning company, you expanding in this area, whatever that area is, right? If you're in Texas and you're in Dallas or you in uh, Fort Worth or you in wherever, you know, San Marcos or whatever the case is, right? You let them know what area you in, you let them know the type of services you offer and how you can be an assistance to them. See if you can set up something to come and, you know, meet with them. Um, if you got to follow them from property to property, like I say, guys, you can make a ton of money doing this. If you just kind of penetrate this niche market, this, just this sector of the commercial cleaning, dealing with the property management companies and occupy owners, um, apartment buildings, apartment complexes, um, uh, commercial buildings under a property management company. Like I say, it could be a lot of money made in that and they would definitely keep you busy. 
Okay, so I just wanted to come back with this video. Uh, this is what I'm working on with my entire first quarter. This is where my main focus is going to be because I realize there's a lot of money to be made here. Okay, and again, this is the type of service, guys, that you can offer on the internet. You can use the likes of uh, Facebook. You can lose, use Google. Uh, you know, pay-per-click ads. It's a lot of different ways that you can go uh, to kind of help market and get the name, get your name out, and get your 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 brand out, and get your you know get your visibility out there. Okay. So again, uh, this is gonna do it for now, guys. Hopefully, I didn't go too too long. But uh, I'm Fabio Hart, the only person that could ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you. Again, if you need me, just email me at hollywoodjanitorialserve at gmail.com. That's hollywoodjanitorialserve at gmail.com. Take care.